Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to part 4 of Total War Rome 2 Carthage campaign. Here we are on the campaign map and I've just been looking at um, the cursors on the right hand side here. I noticed that we can get a nice little overview of the factions here without actually having to go through all of this. So this makes it easier and it also shows who I can trade with which is something I've been struggling with. So if I double click I can perhaps bring up the diplomacy straight away. Come then, speak. And look, try and get Senate trade with Rome. What I hear, but you must... They rejected, as you can see. But I think that's a nicer way of doing it. Just bring it up quickly on the right hand side. There we are, one click. And here are all the different factions. Also, it gives you a little idea of how, how well liked you are. So, Rome hate me. The Epirus are unfriendly, but that's okay for me at the moment. Um. The Cantabria unfriendly. So most of these are unfriendly by the looks of it. All the way. Libya are neutral towards me. Liguria are unfriendly. Uh, they're unfriendly as well. So, And of course, Syracuse and the Turtidani are unfriendly as well. So as you can see, this gives us a nice little overview. The same with uh, provinces, shows you. So, like Africa, for instance. Um, and imports food, so I probably need food in Africa, in Carthage. So that gives me a good idea of what I actually need to do. Where's my up oh, wrong button? I apologise. Didn't want diplomacy then. I wanted uh, technology. One more turn for a military settlement, so not long to go for that. That would give me two percent upkeep upkeep costs for all armies, and it enables me to build a military wharf and a holosiderus barracks. That will help me out slightly. Um, we need food though, like we mentioned earlier. How can we get food? Workshop, training fields, wells, dock ship, food. What was that then? I'm sure, sure I saw food then. Grain. Ah, see if we can get grain. But we're going to have to wait a few turns. But this is the end turn phase from the previous episode. And if you remember, we were heading towards where we actually we were here. We were actually besieging Tartuba. We have one siege equipment. I'm probably going to continue the siege through this end turn phase. You, my lord. And then we will strike and try to take Kartuba. That's my spy just moving back to uh, Sicily there. Syracuse even. And uh, I don't know if some of you have noticed, but I've actually brought my graphic settings down slightly because I was having a lot of difficulty trying to play on high sta high, high and ultra settings with um, while recording. My frame rate kept dropping all the time and it was getting a bit glitchy. So I've gone for mainly medium and high settings to try and bring it down a bit and to um, make it a bit more of a smoother experience to record. So I hope you don't mind that. Um, and I've also been watching uh, Alex Rambler, Alex the, the Rambler, I should say, his uh, YouTube channel, and he's also doing a Carthaginian campaign, and it's been pretty interesting. You've got two parts up at the moment, and um, he's kind of had the same issues with me, with Carthage, not being able to get trade and enemies declaring war on you, or, or being involved in too many wars, I should say, and you know it's it's, it's challenging. Uh, faction Carthage from what I can gather so far I mean Jesus it's so hard to try and actually accomplish oh that's good they've actually as soon as I say it they actually support me that's great I got reinforcements I can now have a battle in this episode and try and take Kartuba but yeah just saying that um, it's a difficult campaign and anybody that's looking for a challenge I'd recommend Carthage definitely because you're so spread out it's not it's not like a one faction a one province faction like uh like the Greek states. Oh, what have we got here? I'm under siege. Oh, that's not very good. Attrition, the pride of Mago, have lost 18 now. That's not good. Some hoplite units there. Construction, that's great. Household expands. Uh, Seamaster, that's, that's great. And I guess slums in Corallis, that's not good at all. That's not good. I don't have hardly any money as well. That's the worst part. But it's right. Let's, let's try and uh, win. Go over here for a second. I was under siege. Who was it? The Turtadani. They could take this, but I could take this one up there. Do I have money to. 
don't have many men, see. So do, they, do I have enough money to raise forces? Ah, oh, I don't have money, it's not fair. Can my ships get there in, in one turn? Where are my ships? There they are. Yes. Oh no, they can't get there in one turn, look. Okay, we'll forget about that for now. We will take this settlement at least. We actually have our allies here now as well. So we will attack. Assault, here we go. And we will take this settlement. The pride of Mago will unleash his wrath on the Turtadani garrison army. We also have the defenders of the new city as our allies. At least that's where the name of their army is down by there. We've lost some men. They've lost some men through the the siege. I could have kept that going for one more turn. They would have had to have come out and attacked me, but I want to get us over as quickly as possible. If I defeat this faction here, then hopefully they'll disappear from my province up there. So that's what I'm hoping for, at least, in this part. So here we are. The Battle of Kartuba, round two. Uh, dry, that will do. Start deployment. Um, where are my... My allies are going to come across from this side of the map by the looks of it. So over here, that's fine by me. Ready and eager. Uh, can we attack through here? I think we can. Let's go through here and up a wall there. But I got them to, to fall back on as well, so that's good. So let's find out what we got. We've got... Warriors eager. I think we'll start the battle like we are for now. And we actually gotta grab the grapple with these. Not be afraid. These goals are little more than savages. We will show them what true I haven't actually meant. used this. We will put them to right Here we go. Ready for battle. Got a couple of uh, ladders which we can use. Take our time with this battle. Let's take in the environment. Let's have a look what we got. We have one unit which we can already see in this kind of capture area. But the main capture point over here. In this kind of square, the central plaza. I'm gonna take my time because I got our allies, my Libyan allies over there. Libyan? Nova Carthago, sorry. Nova Carthago are over that side of the battlefield, so we'll let them join up with us. Slingers. My slingers can probably. Can't we get up the gatehouse? No, oh, you gotta be kidding me. What is up with this? They haven't sorted out the siege. The siege warfare at all, have they? We hunger for blood and battle! Let's get them all up in this. This is where we're going to attack, and this is where we're going to try and hold. So we got my slingers to go up, and then we have Iberian swordsmen, Iberian swordsmen, another unit of Iberian swordsmen, and Libyan hoplites. I shall group these guys together, and they will march behind. Just march, no need to run. Get them to march with my siege equipment. I got another. I've got more siege equipment. I've got some galleys and stuff as well if I ever need them, but I don't think I will. I have a couple of uh, units of horse. I've got Magos, my general, and I have uh, Iberian cavalry. Just bring them up the left flank. I can't. I don't think we can actually get horses into the buildings. We may have to actually dismount. Yeah, we'll have to dismount and then climb up the ladders. But we'll leave the ladders get there. We we'll actually. Have a little view of the units. You can see the graphics, not that, not that it's best, but it makes it easier to record. Nice scenery around the battlefield as they march towards the walls. We'll have three of these ladders now here. The only problem I have is these are actually my javelin men. I mean, better if they were my infantry, but it doesn't really matter. It's all the same, really, and we haven't actually spotted any more of the units. Where are their units? We can't see them anywhere. Oh, well. What are these guys doing? Slowly marching towards us. Nova Carthago. We have the numbers advantage, so one way or another, we will be taking the city. I hope, anyway. <laughs> I shouldn't really say that I will. Gotta actually do it first. I'm, 
as we can see now, they're moving a couple of units around to deal with this threat. And I'm probably going to need my swordsman pretty soon. Ready for battle. Let's get my swordsman up there quickly. Take the swordsman up there. Here we go. Sending their skirmishes against mine. We should have the numbers advantage. And they're firing from from that tower. I'm going to have to take that watchtower down, I think. Let's get these guys up. These watchtowers gonna do a lot of damage to me. And they're sending all their troops across now, look at this. All their troops are getting involved. We've routed one of these units. Ready for battle! Fire on him! My swordsmen and my slingers, they're all getting up there. There's a big mess at the moment of units. Battle ready! Try and take that capture point at least. Get some of these slingers involved. Ready and eager. Get my swordsman to charge in there. Shield wall. Shield wall. And a quick reload for these guys as well. Shield wall. Get some of these special abilities on. Let's get these slingers up here as quickly as possible as well. And these guys. Get them all up quickly. Kept these guys back for reserve force at the moment. See how we do. See if we need them or not. And we're taking this capture point here. We hunger for blood and battle. Make them bleed. We have captured a tower. Captured the tower, that's good. We've got something to defend now. Ready for battle! We're routing another unit here. Fire! My swordsman doing well, Char uh, completely destroying them here. Let's get the swordsman up there now to take this watchtower. And we're getting heavily outnumbered in the centre here. Let's get the shield wall on. And let's get my javelin men to fire into their tribesmen. Oh my god, here we go. The men are wavering. Wavering on the left flank, it doesn't matter. Done their Gentlemen. job. And there we are, victory. Good victory for us. Didn't need our allies after all. We'll end battle there. And there we are, decisive victory. We have taken the province. Battle duration, 6 minutes 18. Um, we killed 424 out of there 485 we lost 124 so there we are the Turtadani should be no more unless they have more than one province I think that was their only province we'll find out now there we are they've been defeated decisive victory so we can raise subjugate loot or we can occupy we will occupy this province increase in rank may go there we are i think that's is that all of the two the dani dead kelte idani turta dani they still got another they must have more than one province in that case kelte cantabri idani Who's got to one for Sistan? I don't know. We have to de we're gonna still gonna have to defeat this uh, this army by the looks of it. We don't have any money to do that at all. I wish I could order my my allies. It'd be good if I could. Set war coordination attack. Oh, there we go. 
turn to Donny. Nope, that didn't work. Does that work? I have no idea if this is working or not. I'm zooming in. Right, Nova Cathago. Set war coordination attack. To Adani. Greetings, my friend. Greetings. I tingle with anticipation of your noble and word. Not sure if I did that or not. I'll have to wait and see. But we've taken Kartuba now. We have another province. We're looking pretty good. Oh, my general. My army, I should say. General, that's gone up. What can we have? We can have warrior, plus one zeal. Commander or strategist. I'm going to go with the commander for now. That's great for him. Great for the army as well. Um, we should probably check our details. Anything we can... I don't want to dismantle anything, really. Raise forces, recruit can't afford anything at the moment. Uh, we'll end turn there. Oh, that's good. I've actually forgot to do this. What can we have? We can have mercenaries. I get uh, upkeep and recruitment costs down. Probably not a bad thing to research. What about over here? I can get wealth, agriculture, wealth. I need wealth, so I'm going to go with this one for now. We'll end turn and I'll wrap up this video the end of the end turn phase. Achievement unlocked, supremacy. So a steam achievement unlocked there. And it's starting to go pretty well now. We've actually taken our first province, which I'm happy about. If we can consolidate south southern Iberia, I think we'll be okay. I need a kind of base at the moment where I can start to funnel some forces through. My, my armies. There's so many different factions in this game. I prefer it though, I much prefer it to the original Rome when you every faction that was in the game was practically a, a rebel faction. It's great to actually have all these different nations and people represented. Different agendas, different allies, different uh, positions on the map. It's great to see. Different colours as well on their banners. Very nice artwork, I think, if I may say so. That must have worked, because they've gone down there now. That's pretty good. That must have worked, because they've gone to, to where I've asked them to go. There we are. It worked. There we go. Look at this. Um, I've only got two ships, is it? Looks like i got two ships nearby, and they've got all their men. We will... Um, there's no really point in me fighting this, is there? I'm going to auto-resolve this. Aggressive, yes, it doesn't do anything. We'll go with aggressive stance. There we are. No point in me fighting that one. And there we go, decisive victory. Um, I'm going to enslave the captives. So that worked pretty well. I I uh, was able to coordinate an attack. I was able to get them to help me reinforce. And it worked out. Oh my god. Right, turret to Dani. So that's that's them destroyed now then. So great news for us. Food shortage in Carthage. Uh oh, that's not good. Right, we better deal with that then first. So we'll go to Carthage quickly. Where are we? Carthage. We are getting trade, aren't we? I think we are. Yeah. How do we deal with the sh food shortage here? Slums plus one. We gotta go to these slums. How do we go to slums? I don't care to slums, this is not good. Right, can we recruit anybody? We're gonna need a second army anyway, so 
3334 go with Harmatis of the Hananoid. Oh, I tell you who they're with. None of these are with me. We'll go with him. Raise army. We'll go with the whole elephants, of course. I live to serve the mighty Carthage. You can get in the city to help out a bit. Can we recruit anybody with you? We can. Uh, we'll go with the a, a couple of mob units to start with. Fight for our cause. And a Libyan hoplite. That would hopefully help Carthage and not have them rebel. If I can go into details, it actually tells you. So, at the current rate, they will be rebellion in 63 turns. So they're actually pretty happy. It's just the food which they're not happy with at the moment. So if we go into Lilibeum, if I can get onto it. We're actually in the green now. So there we are. Public order is stable. I wonder if it will be if I took my army up, though. We'll find out my now. Lord. Let's put them all to the Great Hannibal. At your command. And even by doing that, it looks like that they're quite settled now. So I've finally been able to sell them, and predicted it's actually going up still. So what we will do, Hannibal now, my great general Hannibal, How can I has this great army, Hannibal? which I'm going to start to use against Syracuse now. I'm going to move him here, Make haste, where there appears to be some some troops, Waiting for more orders. and we will go on to... How do we get to these stances then? I wanted to put him into a, a higher mercenaries details. Here we go. The heirs to Phoenicia. Oh, that looks quite nice. And that one as well. I'm going to go with the pointy one. Heirs to Phoenicia. General details. Floozy. <laughs> he has no wife. He has wealth. Okay, so my plans are to use my ships. It is an honor we have to take out this navy beforehand, but my ships will eventually, hope, will hopefully get to Syracuse, and Hannibal will attack Syracuse, and I can take this province as well, and I'll have control of all this region. And also, I've now destroyed the Turtidani, and I now have control over the south of Spain, southern Iberia, along with my client state here. But I'm going to end the episode there. So I've been Dragonheart. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Carthage campaign. I shall see you all soon. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.